spending your valuable time here with me at Market Nalik's Kitchen. Today we are going to make cheese fondue. To make cheese fondue, all we need is cheese and dry wine. Any kind of dry wine would work. Today I'm going to use Armenian wine. It's called Gangun. It's a dry wine and it's perfect for this kind of application. But you can use any kind of dry wine Pinot Noir or uh, Sauvignon Blanc, anything that you have, it will work. Um, for the cheese, we are going to use Swiss cheese, Gruyere or Emmental, uh, whichever one you have, or you can mix both, or you can use any kind of aged um, cheese that is melting uh, smoothly. So any kind of cheese you have, any kind of aged cheese, you can use it, anything that is your favorite. Today we are going to use Gourier. I have grated 400 grams of Gourier and I have one cup of wine, dry wine. We are going to add the dry wine to the pan. I'm adding one cup of garlic, which is right here. And we are going to bring this to simmer. Once it simmers, then we will start adding the cheese. Let's get started. While my wine is simmering, I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch to my cheese. And mix it. Let's use this. I have mixed the cornstarch with the cheese and we are going to add this to the simmering wine in a little while. Let's put this aside. You don't need those. I'm going to put this in the back because it's making noise. This will go to the back too. While our wine is simmering, I'm also going to cut the bread. We're going to cut it in small cubes. I have cut my bread to small cubes just like those. You can cut it to bite size and you can also use different condiments. You can use fruits, you can use, use vegetables, anything you feel like dipping into your cheese fondue, you can use it as a condiment. Today I'm going to show you only with bread, but when I entertain, I will also add fruits and vegetables. To serve your fondue, you need a fondue pot. You don't need to go out and purchase something expensive. You can always find this on the secondhand stores or you can also find a lot of those on OfferUp. I have seen a lot of those. Yeah, for about five to ten dollar you can get one. And uh, this came separately. It has another pot underneath this. And this is uh, something else. Um, this is uh, for our tea kettle. All you need to do is just put a candle underneath and light it up and keep it warm. As long as it's warm, it's not going to solidify. But if it gets cold, it will solidify. So while you're serving, it has to be hot. My wine starts simmering. Now I'm going to fish out the garlic. Actually, I will leave it in and then I will fish it out later. I want mine to be garlicky. If you want it garlicky, you can leave it in and then fish it out after the fondue is melted. I'm also adding quarter teaspoon of black pepper. My black pepper is very spicy. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit and then taste it. If I need more, I can add more. So it's about quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm going to add the cheese, but we have to do it gradually. As 
as once it melts I will add a little more I have added last batch of Gourier cheese and I'm going to mix it until I get a smooth texture. By the way, you can add more cornstarch if you see that it's not thickening the way you want it to thicken. Mix the cornstarch with a little bit of a wine, then add it to the cheese mixture. Once the cheese is completely melted, then it's ready. You can take off of the heat, transfer it to your fondue pot and serve it. This is ready. I turned off the heat. Now I'm going to transfer it to my fondue pot. I turned off the heat and my fondue is ready. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of a, a whiskey. You can add a cherry uh, liqueur to this, but since I don't have a cherry liqueur, I'm adding a little bit of whiskey. You can also add uh, drops of lemon juice, a few drops, just to give it a little more acidity. This is nice and smooth and silky. I have this uh, fondue pot. I'm going to transfer it into the fondue pot. I have a tea candle there going to light the tea candle and I'm going to transfer this goodness to my fondue pot so nice and smooth fondue into my fondue pot and it's still hot now it's time for me to taste it you just take a piece of bread dip it into the cheese it's still hot I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit then I will taste it It tastes so good. There we have it. We made another delicious recipe together. We made authentic Swiss cheese fondue. I hope you'll make it and I hope you'll enjoy it too. Thank you guys for joining me and spending time with me in my kitchen. I very much appreciate it. Well, I need more subscribers. Please spread the word. Tell your friends to join my channel and let's have fun cooking together. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you. Cheers to you. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week and wonderful life. Happy Valentine's to you all. I hope you'll make this at your Valentine's Day and enjoy it. Bye bye. I'm going to have some more, but every time I dip, I'm going to use another fork because nowadays we don't want to pass any germs to anybody. I suggest you have enough forks for everybody not to double dip.